that person's gonna show right up and everything's gonna go from there so i'm gonna say about a year all right all right and then uh give me some ones drop some ones if you felt that and uh let me uh hop over to instagram real quick i'm glad that resonated with you so who was next i think it was miss lids i don't know if you're still there but i'm gonna go back to your question my love uh let's see She's used to the TikTok live readers. Yeah, they be wowing. I do often sometimes. I do it my, my own sometimes for practice. I have an oracle on terror. Okay. Um, wait, where's the question? Hold on, I gotta go back. Miss Lids. I want something in general. What's there from me? Okay, Miss Lids, if you're not here. This is going to be for the replay, y'all, for those of y'all that couldn't stick around. Um, and then once I do this lids, I'm going to hop back over here to YouTube, okay? And it looks like Wave Killer. Oh, wait, just me and then Wave Killer, okay? So appreciate y'all um, being patient. And if you want to bump up, you know what I'm saying? Don't have to wait. Donate uh, via Cash App or if you're on Instagram, um, support me with a badge. And that'll definitely get you bumped up, okay? On the waiting list. So let me shuffle these up. And Miss Lids wants something in general. Oh, whoa. That just did y'all see that just fly literally? Ooh, it's a good card too. That joint just flew. So, do y'all think that sometimes when cards fly out like that, is it actually spirit or is it sometimes bad shuffling? Sometimes I will say that it's bad shuffling sometimes, right? Sometimes I don't think it is, but I don't always think it's a divine. It depends. It depends. cards are so powerful i'm loving this new addition this intuition oracle deck i'm loving this new addition to the team loving it all right so this is uh this is a general reading for miss lids all right on instagram The future. The future. It's an interesting card. The future. Affirmation. I plan for the future with respect for the unexpected. All right, so be open, surrender to the divine. Um, and it says, the mystery of the future and the often frightening power of the unknown gives an almost game-like quality to our lives. A game of success or failure, win or lose, or life or death. The future's power to attract our attention is both unrivaled and awe-inspiring. We can plan for the future using the most scientific rational approach. We can consult with experts and trend predictors, or we can use our intuition oracle cards. <laughs> And our developing intuition is simply guess what is going to happen. They plug the hell out of that, huh? But any, but any plan worthy of the name must expect the unexpected to occur. It always does. We have all been affected in unforeseen ways by unforeseen events. And this is how things will always be. Unless we can accept this fact of life and have confidence that we'll be able to deal with whatever situation comes into our life, we will experience anxiety. That's something that I have to, I had to hear. Um, it arises from time to time, even in the most self-confident people. P 
People who have devoted a lifetime to developing their faith in themselves and a higher power. Having faith in ourselves and our ability to perceive or persevere in our gift of intuition and in the power of our higher self to bring the right experiences into our life at the proper time. All can help us cope with this anxiety. All right, so just worrying and just knowing that it's okay to be afraid, right? Just continue to work towards your goals and just go for the ride, so to speak. And so the next intuition card is... This is the very first one. Hold on, let me get it. All right, one. And this is Warrior. Warrior. I like that. He's got the heart in his hand. I like the roses on here. Um, affirmation. I ask for what I want because I deserve to get what I want. And how well do you stand up for yourself? How well do you express your own needs? How much of your time, energy, and other resources do you allow others to demand of you? Problems are, um, problems you are experiencing may be the result of not asking either your partner, coworkers, family, or even your higher self to give you what you are entitled to have. You may have a tendency to give too much of yourself and to ask too little of others. You must first identify what it is that you really want for yourself and then ask for it clearly and directly, knowing that you deserve to get what you want and need. When you practice courage and standing up for yourself, you will finally see things come into harmony in many aspects of your life. You will be in, in a much better position to either improve your current situation greatly or to allow your intuition to help you find a new one that will bring you more fulfillment. Your right to defend yourself is something you were born with, not something someone grants you. And therefore, it's something that can, can be taken away from you. Okay, so... Uh, focus on warrior mode, you know, stop allowing people to just kind of bully you or, you know, think they can say or do what you want. And you don't always have to be aggressive and angry, sometimes just creating boundaries or maintaining boundaries. And trust me, when you maintain boundaries, it upsets people, especially people that don't like to maintain boundaries and don't respect. And they don't respect themselves because they probably don't know how to maintain or create boundaries for themselves right and so it becomes a problem sometimes most times when you maintain your boundaries other people don't like it and they may get out of control and spaz out and just try to you know maintain control and so we have here next we have six of wands which this card is called victory um we have the tower reversed and we have the ten of discs which is the wealth so this is just uh, a really good future, right? That was our intuition card. So this is just a glimpse into the future a little bit. Um, really great as far as just kind of living and manifesting a life that you want, Miss Lids. Um, that's going to continue to happen, right? And so either there's going to be some change, sudden change. You know, that either is going to happen or, or you're living through it right now or it's already happened. Um, just kind of everything changed um, as far as your life, environment, um, or will change or in the process of it, all right? And don't resist. This is upside down because that represents resisting to what's supposed to fall. It's like trying to repair a, a building that's crumbling with like duct tape or something. Like, nah, just let it fall. Just let it just let it crumble, right? And once it crumbles and we get away the rubble, you know, at the demolition, you remove everything and you rebuild and you're gonna build better because you have a better plan, a better mindset, you have better resources. So that's why you have to let it fall. Right. And this could be pertaining to relationships, um self, you know, self stuff going on, shadow work, you know, releasing behavior patterns, but no matter what. You're going to win, you know, once you just allow things to fall and stop trying to control and know what your future is going to look like. Just know that you have the strength. This is victory. Your mindset is everything. You're strong in your manifestation. And so just kind of remember that and just live with that. And you, you winning, sis. You always winning. You should know that. 
All right, so if you see this now or later when you come back to it, um, drop me some ones and uh, let me know that that resonated with you.